Yo, what is up? I'm Zach. Welcome back to my channel of Ruby Mythology. Today, get, today I'll bring you guys a, another Ruby character growth video, and that is Cinderfall, since you guys have voted for us, so here they are. And, okay, my thoughts on Cinderfall, at first she was fine as hell when they showed her at the end of Volume 1, and now we see her, how she really looks like, and... Volume 2 and 3. That she is. Good at actually manipulating people. This and that. Until volume 4. She became. Lust for vengeance. And powerful. Not powerful. Revenge and power. There you go. And. See how she is now. We all want to know how she was before. How did she met Cinder. Until. Not Cinder. Pff, Salem. Until volume 8. And you actually do feel bad for her, which is kind of like a reference to uh, Cinderella. Was it? Yeah. Cinderella type of thing because, well, Cinderella. So it makes sense. And you actually feel bad for her and you feel sympathized what she did was right. And not only that, like, she became lust and manipulating people until she has the full maiden. Now she's just hungry for power and doesn't care what people say. Even she doesn't care what Salem tells her to do. Like, I'm doing my way because you do not understand. And she likes to lie to save her own skin, but she thinks she could fool Salem? Really? And, um, <laughs> I can't think anything else. I mean, yeah, Cinder's badass and all. Um, crap. What else I got to say? Oh, uh, my favorite part of the entire Ruby series, it has to be where, um, um, Watts actually fucking roasts the shit out of uh, her, which is kind of fucked up. Like, bro, bro. He is spitting fast because you losing everything because you like what say that like, you don't have to be um, you don't have to be strong. You have to be smart. You don't have you don't deserve it. You have to be worthy. And and that word as she brought back the similar cinder how she was in um, volume um, one to no volume two to three. The one thing I am so waiting for in Volume 8, in Volume 9, I meant, because I want to see her interact with Emerald of when Cinder found out that Emerald is now with um the heroes. Ooh, she was pissed. She was so pissed. Because she was, she was not expected that Emerald... Out of all the fucking people that she trusted the most, the one person that trusts Cinder the most betrayed her and on the side with the heroes. And, I mean, she would understand that Mercury would do something like that, but Emerald of all people? Wow. And, um, I don't understand why people don't like Cinder because back in, back in the day, People did not like Cinder because of her voice actor, the voice actress, because she's the a, a model for dressing up as Cinder or whatever. And no, 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 no. I think they hate her because she's a model until they saw her cosplay as Cinder. And she still play as Cinder to this day. And I just don't understand why people are bitchy complaining about that. It was like back in the day until they just let it go and they just focused on talking shit about the voice actor who plays John, the writer of the Ruby series. And and I feel like I just had the feeling when Cinder gets all the maintenance power, I feel like she's going to betray Salem, but I feel like Salem is going to do that before Cinder does because I might do a theory and discussion about that in the future whenever I get the chance but I honestly don't know at this point so we just on the way I have to find out 
And I just like, um, um, I try to remember, huh, I don't know what else I could go over because there's literally nothing for me to talk about. I feel like this might be the shortest one out of them all because, because everything I just brought it up was just, just mentioned. Hell, I was thinking about doing some, like, some what ifs, like, what if Cinder turned good and what if Cinder stayed with the, uh, what's his name? The, the Huntsman guy, the one who trained her. Like, how would that impact the entire series as a whole? I was thinking on that. I didn't have anything for the one if she stayed with her mentor. But I did have some little bit ideas for what if Cinder turned good. Like, like okay, after Volume 5 and she really fall and that really hit her that hard. Because she was slamming the water that hard. And that should leave like a fucking concussion. And volume 6. This is where I, how I want this story to go. Honestly. Which is Cinder lost her memory. And she doesn't know who she is or what she is. At that point. Because that will be interesting story on that. But I don't know how I want it to go. Because it's going to happen in season uh, yeah, season 6 to 8. And we honestly don't know how would that story would go. You know what I mean? But, yeah. I don't know what else I want to say at this point. Because there's really nothing I could go over for Cinder. Because, basically, I just brought up everything. And I don't have any thoughts of Cinder. I mean, I, mean, I will say this. Cinder does have a really good fight, like, her fight against Pura, Raven, uh, uh, Penny and Winter, Penny again, and Winter again, so she has a really good, decent fight, if I had to say my favorite, um, fight scene that Cinder ever have, it has to be Raven, because... That was the most intense fight I ever seen in Ruby. And I I if I had to say that the the second best fight for Cinder it has to be where Winter had the Winter Maiden and third would be um Penny and Winter against Cinder. That would be in my top three as well. For Cin uh for Cinder's uh fight scene and all that. And I don't know. I don't know what else I could go over at this point, honestly. So, yeah. I honestly don't know what to say at this point. I think that's everything I have to say about Cinder Fall. This might be the shortest one of them all. But, honestly, I don't have anything else to say about this. I mean, she has grown to be lust and manipulated to... Uh, Revenge and power hungry maniac. And I feel like she's going to overcross and betray Salem one day. But I feel like Salem is going to do that before Cinder, Cinder does. And I wonder how this is going to impact Volume 9 where she confront the Emerald for being betrayal. Because, yeah, Emerald can't go back now because Salem was trying to kill her and... That's not good. So, yeah, I honestly don't know what to say. I have I have nothing else to go over about Cinder. But anyway, guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Links to my other channels, my social media will be down below the description box. You guys know a drill. And stay tuned for later on. I'm gonna be doing on the last of the last video for the character character growth series, and that is gonna be Oscar Pine, my boy. So be on the lookout for that one. Again, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Ruby is love. Ruby is life. Keep moving forward, and I'll see you guys later.